mean, you have Miss Rima, you have Miss Zoya. Obviously, this is gonna be a good show. I had no doubts. As soon as I saw the makers, the cast, I saw Jim, I saw Kalki, I was like, yes. my channel so we're gonna go straight into this video because I talk a lot as you can tell already from the title of this video I am about to do a review of the show made in heaven <laughs> You know that that's a bad word, right? So, 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 just like with any review, any review, I always gotta give the background of the show and the directors, the creators, and just the amazing people behind it, okay? First of all, this show streamed on Amazon Prime. Um, I think it came out March 7th, and I literally watched it in like two days. Like, I'm not even kidding. I binge watched it, and I loved every minute of it. This show is amazing and i cannot like stretch it enough honestly it's amazing like it's just so many dynamics to the show that it's so important and i'm so glad that this show came into my life and i'm gonna try to tell you guys a little bit about it this is a spoiler uh <laughs> zone so if you have not seen the show yet please exit out go back Go watch it and then come join, come watch, and we can talk, okay? So I'm gonna go right into this. You guys ready? We're gonna go right into Made in Heaven. Let's do that. So, Made in Heaven, according to Wiki, because I always gotta have the phone for fact check, it is the story of two wedding planners in Delhi where tradition jostled with modern aspirations against the backdrop of a big fat Indian weddings, revealing many secrets and lies. Now, we love that. It's just, it's juicy. Secrets and lies, like, yes. I took this seriously. I even, like, literally typed up my review and, like, printed it out. We're not playing around here, like, I got you. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to convince you why this show is great and why you should go watch it if you have not done so and why you should go watch it again if you've already done so. So, are you guys ready? Okay, so, so, this show was created by none other than the amazing, amazing Zoya actor. First of all, she killed the Bengali boy already, and she's already killing us again with this amazing show. Bless you, Zoya. Bless you, ma'am. Oh. And then, Miss Rima Kagdi. Also, if you have not seen her other show that she also created, please go watch four more shots. Please stream it on Amazon Prime. Go do it. Go do it. Go watch it. It's another amazing show as well, and you guys deserve to watch that. But yes, so these amazing women created this amazing show, and um, it was written by them too again, and then another writer called Alan Krita Shivastava. And I definitely said the name wrong, but you know what? That's what always happened. And it's directed by Nitya Mera, Zoya Actor, Prashant Nair, and Alankrita Shivastava. So yes, I have to give the little fact check, you know, how to give the creators their, their, their due, because they deserve it. So, <clears throat> I have the cast. So, Arjun Matar plays Karan, one of the wedding planners, and also gay as well. We love representation, okay? We love it, we love it. Then we have Sabita Dolipala, who plays Tara Khanna, also one of the wedding planners, and her character is married to Adil Khanna, played by the seductive and handsome Jim Sarv. And then we have Kaki Kochlin, who plays Faiza Nak. Nak then we have Shashank Arora who plays Kabir and Shivani who plays Jaspreet. All of these are basically like the main characters and the story kind of revolves around them somehow and other characters. So the show in itself is nine episodes and each episode is like 45 minutes or so and let me tell you something it's short to me 45 minutes is short I would love it if it was like two hours to be honest because that means more but 45 minutes and I tell you it comes by so quickly because every episode centers around a different couple getting married and those couples around their wedding you have the secrets and the lies and the deceptions that are amongst the wedding party the bride the groom whatever it's juicy like mouth-watering honestly like oh <laughs> literally um, every episode leaves you enthralled you get involved you like what's gonna happen now and then you gotta deal with also the main characters you have Tara whose husband Adil is cheating on her with none other than guess what guess what Faiza Nakvi, who happens to be her best friend. 
y'all when i tell you it's messy it's messy and i love it i love it i love it i love it but yes so you already have that going on and then you have quran who has to be gay in in a time where being homosexual was illegal in india at that time they had not yet passed legalized the law i believe um yet in this particular show um or at least around the time when the show was filmed maybe um so yeah it wasn't legalized yet and so you have quran who's this amazing partner to tara and they basically own this wedding planning um company called made in heaven literally that's where the company is called and he also has his own life he's dealing with you know he's having secret hookups and he can't he's not really publicly out yet but he's out you know what i mean like people know he's gay but like they don't know he's gay gay you know what i mean um and you know he has his own little rendezvous he's battling with some you know childhood issue that he also had um and also a childhood lover that he also had and it's just like it's just a mixture of everything every character has something that makes you connect with them that makes you interested in their plot and that's what I love about this show it's not your typical boring you know yada 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 masala film it's literally like layers and layers of different characters different people different backgrounds all mixed together in one show and that's what's amazing also the acting oh the flavor <laughs> the acting is on point can we see these people on the big screen as well these people deserve their dues like Karan, Sabita, Jim, Kalki, everybody did fantastic. Whoever was in charge of casting the people, you guys did amazing. You deserve your dues. Yes, yes, yes. But anyways, I talk too much. Let me let me move on. So yes, I've basically divided this into like my favorite parts and my WTF moments. <laughs> so this is when I'm gonna like spoil some moments for you because I'm gonna actually name some of the stuff that I and like you know we're gonna go into this. So WTF moment the number one on the list it actually goes in no order at all but when i found out that faiza and ideal was cheating even though i kind of had my suspicions i was shook okay i was like oh. Oh my god, it be the ones closest to you. But listen, I know Tara is not innocent. She, first of all, how you get them is how you lose them. Okay? How she got a deal, first of all, was already messy, okay? My girl was low-key a little bit of a gold digger, but um... You know, she had to do what she had to do. <laughs> she definitely got with him when he was engaged, and how ironic that life decided, you know what, girl? your best friend is gonna cheat with your mans and just like that and also with a deal once a cheater always a cheater like honestly he had a problem i mean come on <laughs> like honestly also when that old man in quran's building put the camera on the wall and he was getting off on that i was like okay 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 i, I mm -hmm. Ew, the disgust. Excuse me. It was just a mess. It was a mess, a mess. But I was just like, WTF, OMG. I was like, oh, oh, so he likes that. Okay. In episode nine, when a politician daughter was getting married to that man and they were low key drugging her. Like, y'all, like, OMG. They were really drugging this girl to get married to this man. The whole time she had her own man that she loved. And I love it. I love how Tara and um, Tara and Karan, they planned this wedding for her to run away. And they, uh, See, that's what made me love the show. Because even though they, you know, they were all about getting their money and their coins, they also had the side of them where they didn't tolerate nothing. No BS from nobody. And if they saw something was going on and something was wrong, they did something about it. Like when Quran, you know, tried to fight against, bring out the, the, um, the royal man who sexually harassed the girl at the wedding. I love that. I love how they didn't sugarcoat it. I love how even though they had their own messiness, they weren't like, you know, it assholes. They were like, listen. It. like this is wrong and Tara even though she had that you know demeanor to her she was also like listen this is wrong I love that so much and I think that's just kind of what made me love the two characters the most is that despite their flaws they still had they were human you know at the end of the day how Tara got a deal was messy and bad but at the end of the day they got married and whether I do like it or not he married her and he should have been faithful but of course you know 
he wasn't he was trash um, <laughs> and obviously you know he didn't change he was still cheating even after the accident yo that was a big WTF moment for me for Faiza as well for Faiza as well like girl you almost died and I know that Faiza she was guilty she felt like you know she was going through it but still I would have been like I would have blocked him like, I wouldn't open the door to him. He would have been locked, shut, and by. Like, uh-uh. You know? Because, no. But, of course, they were still being messy. And they were still hooking up and doing the messiness. And, you know? It is what it is. But, um... But I love how Tara, even despite that, even despite the fact that, you know, she did want to be rich. She did love the glam life. She did want to, you know, be someone. She realized that none of it was worth it the worth the pain worth the tears worth the fact that her marriage was falling apart and i just loved love love the end when her and karan sat together and they were just like so what next after all the messiness that happened and then she dumped the jewelry out of her bag and she just laughed i was like yeah <laughs> i love that so much just because like it just shows that she's moving on you know she's a boss and she's there about to do this business together. I can't wait for season two, y'all. I'm so ready for season two. Like, I'm mentally ready for season two. I need to see more shenanigans. But despite everything, I love just the people, the characters, the guests that they had on there. They had some really good power cast. Like, they had Miss Nina Gupta. I mean, they had so many cool people that was, like, featuring on there. I would love to see many of these Many more amazing people guest star um, in the episodes for season two. I think it will be amazing. Like, yes. Shoot, if you guys are in America and you need a foreign girl who speaks English, I got y'all, okay? I can act a little bit. I can do what I gotta do. Y'all can make me the waiter or whatever. I'll do it. <laughs> y'all can cast me if you want. <laughs> um, but no, no, no. Honestly, though, this was a great show. Uh, wow, my papers are falling. I don't even... Like, I wrote all of this and I just kind of said everything half by memory. It was really good. It was surprisingly good. Um, when you see the trailer, you're like, oh, this is messy. Oh, what is going on? Me, personally, I love shows like that because... <laughs> Like that's my guilty pleasure. I love watching shows that are just like all over the place But I had I, I had a feeling it was gonna be really good because come on now look at the creators of the show I mean you have Miss Rima you have Miss Zoya Obviously, this is gonna be a good show. I had no doubts as soon as I saw the makers the cast I saw Jim. I saw Kalki. I was like yes because this is my first my first time seeing Sabitha and Arjun but they're really good actors. They definitely deserve their dues. Everybody was doing their thing. And I was just like, I loved it. Honestly, for me to finish in two days, that says a lot. Because I can take forever when I'm watching the show. Especially if I'm not interested. Honestly, if you have seen this show, you know what to do. Comment down below what were your favorite moments. Where was your WTF moment. And what did you like or not like about this show. I want to know. Because, you know, every show is not perfect. But... It's a show. I mean, you get what you sign up for. It's a show, which means it's gonna have its flaws and it's gonna have its good and it's bad. And I also love how in every episode they had um, Shashank, who was like Kabir, Kabir. Um, he was like the photographer, the video guy. He would always kind of do a little commentary, like a reflection. I love that so much. Like he would just spew some knowledge and I was like, I felt that. Like I felt that. Mm. The flavor. I like that touch to it. He reflected on it. In the beginning, I was like, what's going on? Like, okay. But then as it gets on and he would just say some really good stuff, I was like, yes. I love how they showed that, you know, a woman's worth is not getting married. You know, there's so much more to her. And I just, uh, there's so much I want to say, but this will go on and on. It's a great show. I promise you. Give it a chance if you have not already done so. And honestly, I want to watch it all over again. When it was finished, I was so sad. I was so sad. And uh, also, my favorite moments was definitely Tara and <laughs> Tara and Adil's moments. Okay, like, y'all, the chemistry between these two, I was living for it. I loved it. I loved it. It was fire. Jim holds nothing back. I mean, this man, <laughs> the way he would grab onto her, I was like honey <laughs> karad he was getting his little thing i was like okay this show definitely is realistic um and they they tried it as much as they could and it's good 
I like it. <laughs> it has it has many substance to it. It's not just a showy show. You see the trailer, you think, oh, it's wedding, but it's there's just people planning rich people's wedding. It's not like that at all. It's actually substance, and I liked it. Vicky approves, and Vicky wants you guys to watch it too, and so we can talk about it. Let me know who was your favorite character. For me, I liked Tara. I don't know why. Even though she had her flaws, I really liked. I also loved Karan because he did not stand for shit. Like, he was like, listen, okay? I especially loved the part when he stood up to his neighbors and was like, I'm going to sue y'all. And I definitely did not like the part in the jail where they beat him up. Oh, my heart. <laughs> And he also had his flaws, you know, with his little childhood, what he did, what he did to his friend and all that shenanigans. But, you know, like I said, they all kind of made up for it with um, other do's and other things. You grow to like them as the episodes go on. But despite everything, I approve. Great show as always. Oh, Amazon Prime India, you guys are doing the damn thing. Dang, I'm loving this come through with the shows honestly like I love them <laughs> I really do I love the shows um and so I wish them nothing but more success I hope season two comes soon soon and I also hope that four more shots is coming soon and um season two is coming soon as well and yeah that's all for today I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like this video follow me for more and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this so much it was fun just kind of talking about it so many things i wanted to say but you know we can't talk it's gonna be like an hour um so yeah i'm just gonna end it here i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah until next time guys bye